Hi everyone, it's Kaylee here with Microsurvey, and today I'm having a conversation with Jacob Wall. So Jacob is a BCLS and the owner of Summit Land Surveying in West Kelowna, BC. And today we're going to have the pleasure of getting a quick demonstration of Microsurvey CAD um, in conjunction with a data set that was picked up using the AP20. So uh, without further ado, take it away, Jake. Sounds good, uh, Kaylee. It's um... Yeah, we got the AP20 last uh, summer, I believe it was, and uh, and like all new tools, you kind of start uh, getting used to it. It's uh, It's been a fantastic productivity tool for us, especially for topographic surveys. Our crew is uh, quite efficient with it. Uh, we were able to uh, get more data more quickly, and uh, we can reduce the number of setups required because of the AP20. You don't need direct line of sight always. Like one of our uh, field crew guys, he uh, likes to say that it can it can see around corners and things like that. Right? <laughs> it's um, it's really uh, you know it's really uh, a productivity tool that um, has made our life a lot easier. And then the fact that the data that we collect with it. It seamlessly comes into StarNet and Microsurvey CAD is also an added benefit, so it doesn't require any additional um, uh, workflow uh, tweaks or anything like that. It looks the same as any of the other data. Um, so yeah, we have one sample uh, uh, data set that we thought would kind of highlight um, the fact that uh, it's it, you get a lot of data in a day, more so than conventional uh, total station work um, or conventional robotic total station work even. And um, and then also with uh, like a Captivate, uh, collecting the line work in the field at the same time as you take your shots is super easy as well. But it, you know, of course, you have to consider that uh, as being a little bit more of a time investment as well because uh, you know, uh, the coding, the the geometry of the lines has to be properly done in the field, but it looks great afterwards when it's all done, and it pays dividends uh, uh, for you in the office later on. So um, maybe I'll start sharing my screen. I'll just show you what the process of that uh, that looks like. Sure. Thank you. All right, here's a, a drawing that we've uh, created. It's got just some legal calculations in it, and uh, I'm going to bring in the Leica DBX uh, file from the first day of field work. So let's go import uh, Leica DBX, gonna start importing. And as we can see on the dialog, it's adding the points to the drawing. There's quite a few points in this particular field day. We had about uh, roughly a thousand uh, collected in six hours or so. So it's just going, it's going through the uh, DBX. It's uh, storing the points, and of course we have the auto map that is uh, enabled, and the point codes are being uh, translated into symbols uh, for the drawing. And uh, as we'll see here in a minute, once the points are all processed, uh, the line work will also start uh, being processed. And we should end up with a fairly complete uh, drawing here fairly shortly. Nice. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a, uh, I've never brought in that many points before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just about there. I see the, uh, the progress to 900. Uh, and as you can see, the points are being drawn up on the screen. And now it's adding that line of work that we just talked about. It's gonna apply the scale factors. This uh, drawing is uh, in, uh, drawn on UTM coordinates. Uh, the active traverse editor pops up once we're done and it will show all of our observations here as well. So now I'm just going to zoom into uh, say this part here for example and uh, as you can see the, the layers, the line types, everything is done for us already at this stage. Um, you know, so we've got some sidewalk um, ed edge of uh, edge of concrete, edge of pavement, um, the center line of the road, the symbols for for your mat holds and everything else, uh, tops and bottom of banks, fence lines, uh, the edge of the baseball diamond. Uh, you know, at this point now, that in itself, just having the line work come in, that, you know, that reduces uh, probably at least an hour of drafting time for per day. And um, yeah, it's been, 
it's been a, a double win that way for with um, the AP20. And of course, we were using the line work features in Captivate prior to using the AP20. But uh, the AP20, nothing changes the way you do things in the field. Everything is uh, quick and and it's amazing how how you can just walk along and just basically store hit the store button and keep walking there's no need to stop level up and everything else so it's been uh it's been a great addition the captivate the line work in captivate and the the auto map work work really well together too i've seen it in action before but on a smaller scale so yes uh no the auto map and uh just having that uh code table of course for captivate it's all been uh you know it's, of course all of this is an investment in time and just setting it up uh, prior but uh really does um it, it pay dividends in the long run yeah definitely and it's funny because a lot of uh you see a lot of land surveyors that have this technology and they do have these custom workflows set up but there's a lot of people that use the technology that may not be land surveyors like construction companies and stuff. And I find that a lot of them don't even know that this automation even exists. So No, I, I certainly talk to uh, surveyors frequently who have been using Microsurvey CAD for many years and um, have not bothered uh, setting up an auto map. But uh, um, like we say here, I mean, just do it and uh, it will be so much easier for you. Yeah, we've got videos for it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else that uh, that you want to mention before we hit the road? Um, no, I touched on it briefly. Uh, same thing with the Starnet importer. Uh, the AP20 data is uh, completely corrected already, so you don't have to be concerned about uh, anything uh, that might affect uh, those types of um, workflows as well. So it's, uh, yeah, Captivate with the AP20 is a, is a great combination. Yeah, that's awesome. So if anyone's watching this and you're using Microsurvey CAD or Starnet, go out and buy the AP20. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks, Kaylee. Yeah, thanks for your time, Jacob. Bye for now.